Hey guys, welcome back to our 10 acre homestead here in New Zealand. Uh, today I'm heading to the greenhouse. Um, I was actually hoping it was going to be a bit sunnier than it is. But see there's some dark clouds on that side. So uh, I was going to paint the greenhouse. Because it's, um, it's getting a bit hot there on hot days. And it's only going to get hotter and it's going to fry plants. So I need it to be more of like a shade cloth than a greenhouse at this time of the year. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into the market garden soon um, when the kids come down and then we're going to actually build some uh, some tunnels for some climbing crops in that garden and uh, we probably won't plant them because it's actually been quite cold especially this morning and yesterday morning so I think it's still got a little bit of a risk of a frost so we're not going to be that silly we're just going to get it ready and hopefully in a week or two we can plant like everything everything we've got but um, just at the moment while I'm waiting for the kids, I have some zucchini and some bulk corn to plant out in the greenhouse. So that's all planted. So I've got some globe artichokes I planted down there. Some zucchini, three, six trays of zucchini. And then this whole, I think it's hundred and something tray of sweet corn. Plan is to stagger them. And that sweet corn, I'm still gonna be planting gemstone corn soon. We've still got a lot of grain to do. But that is all I'm going to do in here at this minute. And now I'm going to come into the market garden. Our garlic's still looking all right. It hasn't shot out its um, middle shoots yet, so that means it hasn't finished growing. So it's finally actually getting a bit bigger. But what we are going to do is one, two, three, four. We are going to weed out then we're going to put tunnels up. So there's going to be a tunnel here. Um, it's probably going to be like a rectangle tunnel. And you'll be able to walk through here and pick plants from up here kind of thing. I think it's going to be about two meters high. And on that side. And maybe later on we're going to put some more down there. Those are garden beds. But it is like a weed jungle. But I planted garlic all through here last year. And I think, you know, those little beads, I think... They've actually grown like more garlic because I'm sure I got all the garlic out of here. But I mean, look at them. Like this garlic here is like bigger than the ones over there. So, and they've been like neglected, very neglected. So I don't know what's going on there. But I think I can actually get some material ready already for these two rows because it's pretty much ready. What I might actually do is I might get some compost and start filling these up ready to go what do you think i reckon that's a plan and for the first time we are using our own compost so i'm pretty sure this is ready and i've just got kind of like a makeshift sieve on the top so get any junk out or any big pieces hopefully it's going to grow some mean vegetables for us Now this is some beautiful compost. It's all nice and sieved, so. Is that from my chickens? That's from your chickens, Matilda. Wow, they do. It's gonna take a few loads to fill up these two beds, but uh, the more we use of our own stuff, the freer it is. And we don't need to fill the garden bed like right up anyway. Not right and the, the less top. money. Yeah, and the less money. So we're saving money, hopefully, and hopefully we're improving the system um, year by year. Or making more systems, like, uh, Pig pork. So while I haul compost, Matilda's going to spread it out and these two are going to start weeding that whole bed. So put them on time lapse, see how fast it actually takes them. So okay, this is where we're up to, we're half filled that bed. We filled that bed, although it can do it with a little bit more filling, but it looks uh, finished but it's not and Debs and the kids have been uh, well mostly Debs has been doing some weeding around here so we're gonna go up have some morning tea have to come back down and carry on Okay, we're back down here. Got the kids here. Debs is uh, just doing a cake in the oven, so she'll be down in seconds. 
and Evelyn is yay down here. We are going to start building this trellis. So we're going to find some uh, posts. We've, we've just brought some down, but I don't think they're long enough. So we're going to find some longer ones, bash them in, and then we're going to go find our um, mesh to be able to build the walls and the roof and everything else. So let's go. So we don't have much cable ties left, um, we're just trying to get it so it's stable and not going to move away from us but I've decided we're actually going to go the whole length of the garden bed so I'll put in a couple more poles over here, hopefully we don't need another two, we're running out of longer ones and Jasper and Debs over there is getting another half a panel for stealing from Medina's garden because that's going to get all demoed, we've decided we're going to demo it. We've got enough garden space that we don't need to look after more. So I'm back down the bottom here, I've just managed to find eight posts. It wasn't easy, but I found them, I don't know, I took them from some trees and stuff like that, so they don't blow over, but it is what it is. Taking them, I'm going to bash them in, and then once I've bashed them all in, I'm going to bring the mesh, and I'm going to have to uh, cut some mesh from Adina's area, bring them over, and then hopefully, just hopefully I have enough to do that, and this other trellis over here, like just the amount of mesh, I'm really hoping. But I won't know until I've measured it all up properly and counted them all up if they're going to be good or not. So let's just see what happens. So one panel is all I've got for today. I got the other panels off Adina's area and now we're going to go pick some beans. Broad beans. So these are all them here, there's quite a few. So this is our first harvest of broad beans, so that's all we got. Uh, nothing to brag about, but hopefully we keep getting them week on week, we get um, a few more. And we'll get the kids to deshell them because it's quite a task. Okay, Debs just wants to show you something real quick with Harold. Sit. Sit. Yeah, I know I have got no food in my hands. Good. Boy, yes. So Harold is uh, sitting for food, <laughs> but he should not be all the way down here in the garden because he was just in here before. So that is a bad habit, Harold. Uh, we've got one more panel in for the trellis, but it's going to rain, so I'm going to call it for the day, and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Hi guys, it's the next day. One tunnel is complete. Two tunnel is complete. Just got Adina to come give me a hand and we just, this morning we completely forgot about you guys so very sorry about that. But it's all cable tied in, we've got the last bits of mesh in and just had enough of the um, mesh to do the job. So that was, that was awesome and we got the whole length of the bed in there so yeah I think up this one is probably going to be bitter melon and that one's going to be probably long beans but we haven't fully decided yet. Next we can. I will be getting some more dirt, um, well, I'll be using a lot of my dirt, uh, compost, and we'll, I'll probably be purchasing some more dirt 
um, so we can get these four beds planted and the kids will be working on that bed one two three four at the back getting all that weeded because that is a jungle at the moment there's some big prickle plants at the back too so that's not good but anyway i was going to plant the greenhouse but i'm not sure now if it is going to like rain or not before it was like clear blue skies and now it's starting to cloud over so yeah i don't want to paint it and then it all washes off so i don't want to waste it so i won't be doing that so instead what i am going to do is i'm going to weed this garden a little bit family garden we've just got to make it like a, a monthly routine i've got a little um hoe here and um little weeding tool so let's get to it So for some reason, you guys turned off. You probably didn't want to see me weeding anyway. But I've weeded um, three pathways now, and just a little bit over there by the garlic. It looks a heck of a lot better than it did before, I have to admit. And the broad beans, I actually tied up with some string, put it up over there so I could weed all in there, but they needed to be tied up anyway because they're getting out of control. I'm gonna go up, check on these kids because I'm actually fasting today, can't eat. That's why I'm trying to just uh, keep myself occupied. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys back down here soon. A lot has been happening around here. Just a few uh, news updates for you. Um, we've got our three naughty goats locked up in the goat pen now. So that's good, they're no longer in the house. We have uh, baby sheep now. Um, I think it's, is it Roof Junior? Something like that. And we have another two baby goats. From Sophia the brown goat, if you remember from uh, the last episode, Adina was um, in there checking up on them while not doing work. Uh, well, it was like a week later that she actually had the baby, so yeah. And uh, they're all out, so I think we will be taking those three babies um, inside. So not the sheep, not the lamb, but the other three baby goats, we'll be taking them um, in our shed and we'll be starting to milk for ourselves or we'll probably be feeding the babies that milk as well and i think we'll be keeping the um, goats they're three male goats so we might keep them and raise them up for meat and talking about meat we are actually butchering um, four of our bunnies we're going to do it today um, deb's got a bit caught up with some other stuff in that so she'll probably end up doing that tomorrow but we can't even show that on camera anyway because of YouTube's policies and all that kind of thing. But um, we're a homestead, we eat all of our own animals um, and we know where it comes from. So that's just what we do. Uh, I was gonna actually come down, I'm, I'm pretty buggered. I'm not gonna go back in the garden. I've actually, this arm here, I've got tennis elbow. Um, so it's a bit harsh on me when I'm doing weeding. Well, that's my excuse anyway, because it's why the kids and Debs can uh, do some weeding instead. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was going to have a look at the bananas over here and see how they're doing because I did see a bunch on there, but I'm not sure if they're splitting. There's a few going yellow. There's going to be a lot of work to do in here soon because uh, I'm going to have to chop all the brown leaves. Some of the bananas like already going yellow and they're way immature. Um, it's just a big mess in here. And uh, yeah, I might just have to start new with um, a new bunch coming on but this is the banana bunch here and there is quite a lot of splitting by splitting I mean like a uh, oh that one's not what a pity can't eat it I'm fastening uh, so there's probably some salvageable stuff in there so we'll probably chop that one down and I don't think there's any other ones Right, and there you go. First banana bunch of the season. I'd say maybe 20% of them are edible. Still all right. Okay, over there by the bananas, I completely zonked out. Um, I did bring the bananas up, but 
yeah I'm pretty buggered I don't know this fastening is getting to me and then we went to find the baby goats because we couldn't find them uh, we still haven't found them so yeah Sophia's ones um, but I wanted to tell you these um, ostrich eggs in here we are down to three and there is less than a week to go and Deb's reckoned the other day um, she could like feel it kicking so we'll see what happens but I think I've got to actually turn these uh, I think Tuesday we stopped turning them and then they're in hatching mode up the humidity in that so yeah it's pretty exciting pretty scary at the same time because we're going to have ostriches running around this place but anyway what I wanted to say was um, I've finished all my work I wanted to do today as I said I'm I'm pretty buggered and I'll catch you guys for next week's vlog and definitely going to be doing the Q&A and live hopefully this week um, it's just working around all of our plans and all that kind of stuff but yeah for now I'll catch you guys later Luke out <laughs>